That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. We are going to have some fun today. We are going to be talking about the misconceptions of blindness or blind people. Again, the misconceptions of blindness or blind people. Now, before I jump into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button i want to thank my new subscribers make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can get updates baby and make sure to like if you dislike it that's cool too make sure to comment and most important share the video my name is anthony and i am your host for this evening and all other times you see me on here so we're going to jump into the video, we're going to make it quick, and we're going to talk about, again, the misconceptions of blindness or blind people. And if I leave anything out, hit me up in the comments if you have any misconceptions that I may have missed. I mean, I'm quite sure there are more, but these are just a few. So let's jump into the video, jump into the video. Number one. Most people who are legally blind are totally blind. That's not the case. <laughs> That's not the case, y'all. Now, just a little information. Legally blind means you have a vision of 2200 or less. Only about 18% of people who are visually impaired are legally blind. And about 10% of those who are legally blind are considered to be totally blind like myself number two totally blindness is not like if you were to close your eyes a person who is totally blind sees no light or no color and many people have asked me that in the past hey man do you see black when you close your eyes no simply because i mean one i have no idea what black looks like i've been blind a long time so we can bump that so when i close my eyes i don't see a damn thing <laughs> nothing so number three blind people don't dream now whoever told y'all that blind people don't dream that's not the case i dream now, a little bit about my dreams. Um, I don't see anything. All I hear is voices. I, I remember a long time ago when uh, I had uh, dreamt. I don't know if I, if I remember seeing one of my relatives or whatever, but that was like just that one dream. Um, but now, whenever I do dream, I only hear voices. And I do dream, and I've spoken with a lot of other blind people, and they have told me they've dreamt that's right can i say that also so don't believe the hype number four blind people have a special gift or a sixth sense uh, which also that they uh compensate the lot for the loss of them not being able to see now what they're talking about is that if we lose our sight, we have other senses. Other senses take on uh, that miss, that that one blind, the fact that we cannot see. That's not the case. It's just that we have to rely, and I know you've heard this before. We have to rely on other uh, senses. They become more. Uh, you just have to. It's like you lose one sense. You have to. You you, you kind of 
fall back on another. So you just basically know that it's, if you can't see, then you have to use your hearing. You have to use a sense of smell. You have to use your sense of taste. You have to use your sense of, what is it here? Smell, taste, see, touch, feel, whatever. But no, it's not any extra, extra, uh, uh, senses are just any any sensory possess, p- perception that we have it's just that we have to concentrate on those and some of us do it very well and others cannot uh the next one i forgot what number we're on sight is the only way to uh sense distance and space now i'm a totally blind person and i don't use uh, I don't have any sight, of course. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, when I'm walking or when blind people are walking, they are able to determine such things as uh, how far a building is from them, how far, far, if they're walking next to a wall, how far that is. They can determine if there is an opening by, by the way the sound changes. So you don't necessarily have to see in order to uh, locate anything. I think they call it uh, echo perception, echo sensory perception or something to that effect. But the thing of it is, um, that's that's what blind people use. Like they may use their foot to determine where certain things are by the the way the the um, the, the, the flooring changes. Um, so it's like all parts of your body you may have to use in order to get you where you need to be especially when you um, are traveling so no you uh also use well some of them use what is known as a clicking noise is you ever hear a blind person do <laughs> in most cases they're trying to figure out where they are it's like uh, uh echolocation and that sound bounces off the wall yeah you know that I don't do it, but um, I've had some friends whom I've gone to school with and they do just that in order to tell where they are. Here's another one. Um, and I don't know. I don't know, should I say this one? But this is not a myth. I don't think. Um, all blind people have a high sex drive. Hmm. I can't compare my sex drive to anyone else uh, but um, it's rather high but I don't know if that has anything to do with my blindness but I've heard people say that because of the uh, there's a uh, that there's pent up energy within a blind person <clears throat> they have to release it one way or another so go figure the next one is blind people can have normal jobs now whatever we or whatever you uh declare as being a normal job we ha- would have to figure that out but I, you know for a fact that blind people can't be a, a postman they can be a policeman things of that nature but there are jobs that blind people can do such as a lawyer they can um be a um uh you know computer programmer um parole officer uh probation officer they can be a uh, court stenographer things like that so that's a normal job for them but um you know of course they cannot do the the uh the jobs which which may require for a totally blind person to drive but if you're visually impaired and your and your vision is over 2200 try it out there are some that i have friends who can still drive and he uh he is visually impaired and he works as a maintenance man so next all blind uh people use white canes no no blind people use maybe a sighted guide which is when you walk alongside someone and you hold their elbow or a uh, guide dog and all of y'all are familiar with what a guide dog is we're going to be talking about that in a few um, and some use a cane so don't assume that because a person is blind he has to use a cane there are other mechanisms out there that he may, he or she may be able to use in order to travel from place to place another misconception is all 
see what I'm see what I'm doing? They generalizing. Oh, blind people read braille. Well, all people, all blind people don't read braille because, as I mentioned, there are various forms of blindness. Some may use uh, large print. Some may use computers. Some, <laughs> some may, some may use a computer. Some may use braille. Some may use um, other forms of uh, of, of reading. Uh, they may have others who just may read to them. They have cell phones. There's there's an app. Uh, entitled, um, what is it? Oh, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, um, you could download that app and it could also read books to you. So don't assume that because you're blind, oh, you're going to read Braille. No, because it's things have advanced now. So we are definitely moving on up like the Jeffersons and getting into other things that we can actually do. Next, all blind people use guide dogs. No. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, and if you were paying attention, class, <laughs> uh, there are other mechanisms by which blind people can travel and, um, you know, maneuver from place to place. Next, all guide dogs aren't CNI dogs. There are some guide dogs that may have other people who have visual, I mean, who, who have um, impairments, and they are not considered uh, CNI dogs. CNI dogs are um, for the blind, totally blind. Uh, next, guide dogs can lead uh, a person to a specific location. Psst, now you figure that out. No, you have to have some sort of understanding, uh, some sort of mobility travel to know where you want to go. And from that, you, uh, the dog is trained to help you find like doors, openings, uh, stairs, things of that nature. But a dog, a guide dog is not just going to take you. Oh, hey. Hey Fido, can you take me to the store? Ooh. <laughs> no. Next, totally blind uh, people who see for the first time are very excited and very happy. Um, I think that's a myth because of so much that you have to con uh, contend with. You have to learn colors. You have to learn shape. You have to learn people. You have to learn how just how how the world is if you have been blind all your life like moi and you suddenly see for the first time do you think don't you think that would be a shock come on people use your brain so that would definitely be a shock to them um here's one uh and i think since people saw the ray movie he kind of like uh put this in motion feeling on a person's wrist can tell how I guess um, large a person is. I've done that, and I have been wrong several times. So I don't know what Ray was feeling on at, during his time when he was feeling on these women. So I was wrong. So I think that's a myth, man. I, as a matter of fact, it is a myth because I tried it. So yeah, I am the exception. If that's the case, anyway. Blind people can tell how a person looks. Uh, blind people can tell how a person looks by their voice. Man, that's not true. I've been wrong uh, over half of the time, especially these days. So nah, um, that's not the case. And lastly, so I can get up out of here. All you hear that word again? Blind people wear sunglasses. No, some people may wear sunglasses or vision pair for other reasons. There's so many different eye diseases out there, people that they have to cover their eyes from the sun or stay protected. But they're um, totally blind people who wear sunglasses for whatever reason. Um, you know, if you're totally blind, you may not want nobody looking in your face or you just, you know, feel better by wearing sunglasses because you develop that sense of confidence because of the fact that you don't have nobody staring you down because the first thing they're going to say, well, are you blind? Are you, can you see? Blah, blah, blah. It, it, it just basically, uh, you know, for those who are self-conscious, there may be a, a reason, that may be the reason for them 
to wear sunglasses, but not all blind people, all people who are blind wear sunglasses. There are various reasons. So you definitely have to remember that. So I just wanted to come in, just have a little fun with you all and just talk about the misconceptions that I've heard over the period of time. As I mentioned, if you have some, you want to share it with your boy, holler at me, Parker Anthony 225 at gmail.com. Leave it in my email or you know where else to find me. Hey, thank y'all, man. And I appreciate your time. Just had a little fun. Um, love y'all. And I'm out. Ah!